good morning guys welcome back to my channel i'm lindy aka paleo barbie so i just went and got my mammogram um it has been three years since i had one which is bad i know um but my husband had lost his job at that time i got one right before he lost i mean like right when we found out for the insurance right now and then <laughs> once we got he got insurance again it just got put off and it shouldn't have but it did but i got it now so um I want to encourage you guys to not neglect your annual, you know, your mammograms, your your annual uh, exams and things like that. I think that you, it's really important that we keep up with our health. So, um, yeah, so I encourage you to go and get a mammogram because if you're that age and it's time. Um, it's not the most comfortable experience, but they're really good about making you feel... Um, less uncomfortable maybe is what I'm trying to say I don't know because there's no n there's no getting comfortable in that machine and <laughs> and some woman grabbing you and you know s sticking you where you need to be for a picture um so but it's necessary so we know what's going on with our bodies so I want to encourage you guys to do that if you haven't before um I um yeah put it off way too long so everything should be fine I, kn I know this will be but anyways, I am going to go home and eat some breakfast. I'll show you guys what I am going to eat. Alright, so I just made some bulletproof tea. Um, you guys have seen me make this before, but I um, it's just the orange spice tea. Um, here, I'll get it out and show you guys. MCT oil and then coconut milk. And this time I had, so I'm at the bottom of my jar. Um, so there's a lot of coconut cream down there, so it was mostly coconut cream this time. Um, and so this is the tea that I used this time. I've, and I've used other teas too, but this is the one I like with it the most. And of course topped with cinnamon, but I also put cinnamon in the um, blender when I frothed it together. I Sometimes I froth it in the blender and sometimes I do it with the frother thing. Um, but I feel like in the uh, Ninja... What is this called? This is a neutral bullet. Sorry, I have a ninja too, so I always call them each other the wrong thing. But anyways, it gets a lot more frothy and foamy like that, and then I top it with some cinnamon. So it's yummy and yummo. I'm going to go and drink it. For lunch, I'm having a Angus patty and some of those air fryer Brussels, and I have drizzled over it some of my dairy free ranch just to give it some, some a little something something. Since I can't have, you know, regular condiments right now. So there you go. Y'all, it is just nasty outside. I hate that I have to go to work later. But I'm not going to go to the gym. I'm going to work out at home because I don't want to get out in that until I have to. Okay, guys. <clears throat> Losing my voice. I finished my workout. I know I don't look that sweaty, but I am. Believe me. Um, I It's really cold, so I think it took me a while to get sweaty. Um... But anyways, my arms and legs feel like jello. So let me tell you what I did. So I did, um, I have a 35 pound, I have two kettlebells, but I did, I used the 35 pound um, kettlebell today. So I did 50 kettlebell squats with the 35 pound kettlebell. I did 50 sit-ups. And then I did this arm workout that I found um, on Pinterest, which is, um, it's it's like skinny arm or sleeveless arm whatever workout i'll post a picture in here too um of the workout if you want to do it so you just need some dumbbells to do it um so i did that um one of the exercises was supposed to, you're supposed to use a bench uh, i don't have a bench so i just used my mat on the floor um and did the ones that you, that you need to be laying down for um but yeah that's what i did um and i'm sore now already <laughs> So I am going to go ahead and make dinner for tonight because I work tonight. So I'll show you when I get it all boxed up for me to take with me what I when I made. Um, and also I'm going to go take a bath because I'm sure I'm going to smell here pretty soon. Um, even though it's, it's so, y'all, it's raining outside. It's been raining all day long. It's cold outside. I like cold and I like cold and like snow, but I don't like cold and rain. Um, it makes you just want to crawl back in bed and watch movies all day or whatever and you know unfortunately we can't always do that um because you know gotta go to work but 
Um, yeah, I'm not looking forward to getting out in this. So hopefully it will die down some before um, five o'clock and I have to leave. So, all right, I'm gonna go take a bath. I'll show you my dinner afterwards. Okay guys, I've made uh, some really simple chicken strips in the oven. I just did garlic, pink salt, and parsley, and uh, avocado oil. And this is just, you know, plain old spinach. And I'm packing my dairy-free ranch to take with me. And this is what I'm taking with me to work to eat for dinner. So there you have it. Hey guys, so I am about to head to work. I'm here to pick up my husband, um, and then he's gonna drop me off so I don't have to drive later in this crummy weather. It's disgusting outside. Um, but I wanted to talk a little bit more about why I think getting a mammogram is so important. Um, I didn't elaborate more earlier than I, than I really wanted to, but I, my brain is so foggy, guys, from not having coffee. <laughs> like, like something will be in there that I want to say and then just goes, whoop, there it goes because I can't focus. It's weird. Um, yeah, I don't recommend it. <laughs> anyway, so... What I wanted to talk about was the fact that, for me personally, I don't know about y'all, if you have like family members or friends who have had breast cancer or died of breast cancer or any of those things, but um, I have had several that have been connected to me. And so I've had my a sister-in-law that has passed away from breast cancer. I have had uh, two friends who have passed away from breast cancer. Uh, one, one is a high school friend and one was a friend um, from later years, right? And then another one who has survived breast cancer, a high school friend, she survived it um, and is doing well and doesn't have it anymore. But um, it, it is, oh, and one more friend who I used to know from CrossFit who went through it and, um, it, and survived, which is awesome. Um, but the, the unfortunate thing is, is that a lot of women don't get their mammograms and they don't get checked and then they find out too late they'll be in like stage four um, because they never got a mammogram and never knew that you know they had it. So we don't want to we don't want that to happen to us. So um, if you are at the age to where you are to start getting mammograms, I highly suggest that you do. If you can't afford a mammogram um, through the Sus Susan Komen Foundation, they offer uh, like scholarships and things. You just have to apply for them, income-based scholarships. Also, if you pay cash, like self-pay, there's a cheaper rate than if you pay with insurance. Um, so don't not go just because you don't think you can afford it. Um, apply for the scholarship if you need it. Um, I was going to apply for the scholarship, but um, since I have my health savings card, I had enough on there that I could put it on that. So I just went away with that and they charged me the cash price. So um, it was a little bit cheaper. Um, because I, I don't have traditional insurance. I have my healthcare savings card through my husband's work, but I have a uh, Christian Healthcare Ministries, which is a sharing, um, net, I don't know if you want to call it network or whatever. They don't really say it's insurance, um, but what it is is if you, if it costs $500 or more, you submit it and you pay so much a month for your shares and then the people pay your bill for you um, after you submit it. Um, when it's 500 or more. So if there's like something, like if I go to the hospital or something costs a lot, it will be covered. But um, little doctor visits and things like that, I have to cover. Um, so I'll use the health savings card for that. Um, but yeah, it's really important. I hope you guys take the time to do that and also get your pap smears, get all those things that we're supposed to get. Um, because we don't want to find out too late that there's something wrong and not be able to survive or do something, you know, um, have a good life, especially us moms and, you know, grand grandmas and all that. We, we want to be here to see all these people grow up and get married and all these things. And, you know, just not getting checked is, is not good. So, uh, I want to encourage you to get checked, encourage you to um, it's not that bad. When the, when I got my first one, I thought, oh gosh, this is going to hurt so bad. Because um, people were like, oh, you should take Tylenol before you go and blah, blah, blah. It really isn't that bad. Um, I mean, not at all. 
um, I mean, of course, it's not like the most comfortable thing in the world, but it's not painful. I didn't think it was painful. I just thought it was like, mm, I don't like this very much, but it, it's over and like each little picture they take is like, you know, real quick, real quick, quick. I, I feel like getting x-rays at the dentist is more uncomfortable with all those things shoved up in your mouth. Um, <laughs> so I feel like, you know, it's doable. It's not, there's no excuse not to go. Um, anyways, so I'm going to go to work as soon as he gets in the car and I will show you guys my dinner uh, when I get to work well I showed you it a little bit but I'll show you a pic I'll show you another picture of it so I can see a better view and yeah and you guys I hope you have a nice night um, or a nice day when you're seeing this and I will see you guys in the next video